Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a little happy mail and a thank you to a very, very special person who's been the most kindest person I know. And I want to thank her so much for this little pick-me-up that she sent me. So she was watching one of my videos and noticed that I did not have skin tones in the Copic markers and immediately went and bought them for me. <laughs> <laughs> which I want to thank her for so much. I haven't quite tried these out yet, but we'll do that soon. And she was also watching somebody do a um, clip through of this beautiful book here and knows that I love Ruby Charm colors, coloring books and doing these kind of things in my distress inks and everything else. So she bought me the big book of color charts which is um, Susan Carlson's uh, latest and newest um, color charts watching book. So I thought I'd do a, sw a swatch a couple of pages in here and then do a flip through so you can see a little bit of what it looks like when you actually get into it and do some coloring and, and such. So this is the cover. This is a, um, usually books go this way, which is your horizontal. We're doing it in landscape here and the back here. So that's what the back looks like. It's a smooth, soft cover like all of her other books that she has. So the covers are nice. The paper in here is going to be the thin paper that you find in all of her books. Just a heads up on that. She will be coming out with a artist edition of this book which will be spiral bound and put on harder paper. If you want to wait for that, it'll be a limited edition. So <laughs> just a warning there. You'll have to get your hands on it pretty quick. This is the uh, front cover little bunny that you see here. And then you get into the book. It'll have pictures on both sides. So you'll have a top page up here when you're looking at it. And this book De dedicated to these beautiful artists here on this page. You can color any of these pages you want. This gives you a little information here. The cute little giraffes on that side. And I will flip through the whole thing. Try to give you a heads up on this. This is your index. So all of these pencils here actually have their own color charts in here with their names of the pencils or their numbers and all you have to do is fill in the little box. That's kind of cool. <laughs> she also has them for pastel pencils, inks like the Distress Inks, yay! Watercolor pencils, markers even in the Copics, um, blank charts for coloring in case you um, didn't have any, like if you have a brand here that isn't listed. But she also decides to put them into reds, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, violets, browns, grays, and blackets, and whites. So you can see what the colors in these look like stacked up next to each other and decide what color is the best bright red or yellow red or whatever you want. So that's kind of a neat thing. And then the blank charts she has in the back of the book you can use for sets that you are not listed here and you can write them here and put the page number here if you want to keep an index of your blank color charts which is kind of awesome <laughs> here she has an introduction i will not read all of that for you it's just a little bit long but when you take a screenshot you can read it all pages will have a cute little drawing on some of these. And here we have the basic color theory wheel. This is also on the back. I colored this one in myself following the instructions on the side. So we have our primary colors and then our secondary colors, our warm colors, our cool colors, our monochromatic scheme, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you just follow the list here and you fill, it, fill this in. Um, we had the complementary colors on the opposite sides of the wheel. So the orange one came down here, blue here, you know, purple. This is just theory here. And then she did um, the shading 
is one of these where you do it in black. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer to use two to five different colors and shade in. So, but I followed the instructions and did that. So now I have a color wheel. You can put your notes here in case you had any thoughts on that. Then we get into some color pages. You will notice that some of these are on black. Let's try to talk. Black backgrounds and some are on white. Okay, there's a reason for that. <laughs> and it'll come in a little clearer at the end. So here we have the Artezas. And I've gone through and I've colored the little bug up here. I'm going to be doing the rest of the background later, but I put in all the pencils. So that's what they look like there. And um, we go into the Black Widows. And I colored the little spider, but I haven't done anything else here. So we have the uh, light tones and the dark tones. The Cobra, Scorpion, Spiders. And then on the back page are the Monarchs. Then we have Blick Studio. I don't know what these are, so <laughs> I don't have them. But you have a notes and color combos chart here in a cute little caterpillar. And then you have all the pencils listed here. Some flowers here. And then you have the hmm, Brunzel design pencils. Beautiful little bird, though. <laughs> and you get a little place for your uh, notes and color combos on here, too. Karen Dash Luminance. And these are my set. And then you have a notes and color combos you can put down here, along with coloring in the ferns above. Karen Dash Pablos. Seem to be a lot of those. I don't, don't, don't have that set. And this is the Pablo's notes and color chart here. So you can put in cute little, that's a sea dragon, okay. <laughs> then you have some fishies. The castle arts, I do have this set. So went through and put those in and then you can color the beautiful butterfly. What I'm planning on doing is um, putting down the color swatching from that set and then coloring a picture, the picture on the side with the set that's here, which I have done on another page. <laughs> These are the Cezanne or Cezine, I don't know. I don't own them either. And then a page to do your notes. Oh, and look at the parrot or the little bird. Chameleon uh, color tones. So I guess these are pencils that have either two sides or they have a, a tone within them because they are iris and heather. There's a slash on here so you put one tone on one side and one tone on the other. I'll have to look those up. They sound intriguing. <laughs> Derwent Artist. I do not have those either but that horse is adorable. Okay we have the Derwent Color Sauce. Soft. I have those, but I did not color in the butterflies yet. We have the Derwent drawing pencils, still on my list to get. <laughs> and then I did my first page, I did the Derwent Light Fast. So these are like my <laughs> new favorite pencil. And um, I colored in the seaweed and the fish in these colors and then wrote down the colors I used uh, kind of for the notes here. So this one was done with the purple, the Mars violet, the heather, and the Mars black. And this one cherry red, chestnut, and merlot. And the other one up here is done in uh, golden sun, apricot, dark orange, and Mars black. Foliage is done in seaweed and foliage. <laughs> and then I just did a Distress Ink background. 
but that's how I want all my pages to look all colored up with little notes on them so this is the note and color combo page on this one this is the notes and color for the pro colors which I own but don't really care for and have not put in here yet <laughs> Derwent Studio it's a cute cat I don't have those they have metallic pencils I guess a whole bunch of them these are the Faber-Castell Polychromos and I've colored the trees on here and did the swatching for those. The other thing that I like about this book is because this paper I believe is um, creates base paper. It's really thin and it's kind of got texture on it but when you're doing these color swatches you get to find out exactly how these um, pencils work on this paper. Faber Castell, the notes and combo page, the whole bindings. <laughs> I don't have that set either yet. We have the little crab and a seawater kind of atmosphere here. I like that page a lot. So then you have the color charts, and like I said, they have all the numbers and the names. All you have to do is color in. They, she has uh, ovals, squares, uh, rectangles, so they kind of give you a nice little selection of things to cover. This is our notes and color combos with the cute little fish trying to eat that. <laughs> the Koi Noor Bali colors, the notes and color combos. Little owl up here in the tree. I guess I have a lot of colors here. So you get two pages of that. A tree down at the bottom. The Lyra Rembrandt Palico colors. And then their notes with a cute little bird there. Marco Refine. I don't know if I have those. I have something in a box somewhere. <laughs> I love this little foxy or wolfy guy down here. I've colored him before in one of her books. Um, Maro Renoir. I don't have those. It's cute though. The Mitsubishi Unis, which are a nice set, I hear. They do have a little note here saying that they do come in a set of 240, but she did not include a, a color chart for that. But in the back, you can definitely put the rest of the colors in one of the um, color charts and put it in your index so you know where it is. Prismacolor and Verithins. I have the Prismacolor, so I will be filling this page out and coloring that page up there. Keeps on going to the next page, the cute little bee. And then the Verithins are on this side over here in the corner. I don't have those. You have the um, notes and color combos down here with the cute little bee. I love that little bee. The Shapiro Farben pencils. And we have, I think these are like lunar moths or dragonflies depending they have like moth tops on them i have this set so i'll be putting that in here and you have the little flowers up at the top and of course the little bug down here in your notes and color combo page spectrum noir color blend well Keep learning about new pencils, don't you? These are the essentials, the florals, primary shades and tones. Hmm. They must come in sets. <laughs> oh, and more. Naturals. 
And then you have the notes here. Here you have a big picture. I've seen this one done absolutely gorgeous. If you go to Ruby Charm Colors on the Instagram, you'll see a lot of beautiful pictures done by the artist mentioned at the beginning of the book. The Tombow Rogitans. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I've seen these. They are really pretty pencils in their little cases. I don't care for them though. I like darker tones and they're kind of lighter. That's gorgeous fishy and they're pretty. Karen Dash Luminance and the Derwent Light Fast Combo Chart. This one I found interesting. We have the uh, Luminance already up there and the Light Fast already up there. But because these two pencil sets work so well together, she's also included it as a set <coughs> that you can put down together. Keep them in one case and work them together as a set, which I thought was really nice of her. I keep both of my sets in one case <laughs> and use them side by side a lot. Okay, then we have this cute little guy here and the notes and color combo. Get a whole bunch, because you have a whole bunch of pencils. You get a lot of pages here. Then we get into the pastels. I don't own pastel pencils, so there's not going to be anything colored for me down in here. Each um, different category is going to have a black sheet with the pencil name in here. If you want, you can put a little tab on them so you can easily access them if you have every of these sets. So I'd put like a little tag up on the pedal pencil and then you do pastels, watercolors, markers, and then you have easier access to get to them when you're looking through this and need to find them. You have the Karen Dash pastel pencils, the Derwent pastel pencils, Faber Castell Pit Pastel Pencils. Koi Noor. Oh boy. Soft Pastel Pencils. I cannot pronounce that and will not try. Soft Pastel Pencils. I'll have to look those up. I've never heard of soft ones. Uh, Stablo Carbothello <laughs> Pastel Pencils. And then you'll have the um, pastel pencil notes. Then we have the inks. So, <laughs> this is going to stay back there. Another opening, so you can put that in there. We have Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay inks that you can put in here. I want to try those. <laughs> and then you have the list of Tim Holtz Distress Inks. No, I have not <laughs> filled that out. I'm trying to figure out the best way of getting this kind of ink into that little circle. So, <laughs> I'll work on it. I may just put them on a plastic sheet and use a water brush and put it in. I'm not sure yet. Cotton swab, some It'll get there. Then we have our really cute little fishy here, the one that was eating the words before, and our little pup. I love these fish. <laughs> Ink notes. So you have uh, three, four pages of that. Then we get into the watercolor pencils. I have a set of the Arteza watercolor pencils. I have not made a list of them yet. I just got the book. <laughs> I was dying to put a couple pieces in there though. So you have this kind of beautiful sun up here. Then you have the Arteza watercolors and that sun will be really easy to do. Arteza has got a lot of bright colors in their sets. You have the cute little turtle here. Uh, the Brenzel design. 
and then you also have uh, your notes and color combos here and you can color in a cute little turtle Karen Dash Museum set color and combos up here mm. I am drooling over that set then you have two black sheets here cute bugs you have the Karen Dash Neo Color 2's your notes and combos and you got the bees and the honeycomb you can color that in and then a list of all those those are easy you can color and then just use a little bit of water and bring them across this book's not the best with water because the paper is so thin but as long as you're not using you know a ton of water a water brush is really a good idea and when you take it and you get a little bit of water on you you can always wipe it off on a paper towel before you smear it across so a little water you can do it pretty good and not crumple the paper too much so I'll be doing that one later and you have a cute feather up here you have the super colors in the Karen Dash which I believe are the ones that go with the Pablos but I'm not sure so you have a couple pages of those we have a little flower up there same little flowers down here you have the cute <laughs> seahorse up here <clears throat> you can either do one of two things with this the white you can like you said distress ink and the, it'll color the white the black background of the ink will kind of just bleed into it you can color in between these lines with um, Prisma works really well on the black paper um, I mean a lot of pencils do so I mean you can test them out you could also use the metallic watercolors in here gorgeous <clears throat> anyway <laughs> These are the graphitants. I have those, so I will put those in there too. Graphitants have got um, graphite in them, so they have kind of a really nice muted color tone to them. The ink tints, you've got your notes and color combos up at the top. And again, color on here and then just lightly bring it over so you know what it looks like wet. A <laughs> little bug upside down. <laughs> So I'll be putting those in there. The Derwent watercolors. Now I'm not sure if those are the no. Okay, these are just watercolors. I got two fishies up there. Those are cool. We we'll got some sea grass. <laughs> I'm just gonna say grass. The Faber Castell Elbrechtur. And the notes in the combo page. These are the uh, ones that I have, and they match perfectly with the polychromos. So you have that page up there, this one down here, and then again we have the notes. <laughs> and uh, you get a couple pages of those. Okay, <laughs> get this page. All right. Here we have the hen or chicken and the rooster and we're into markers the fun thing she did here is in the marker section oh that's another rooster up here these are the Arteza real brush pens but because these markers will bleed through I am running out of room on my desk here on the back of each one of these she has put a black page you still want to put a sheet of paper underneath here because it'll bleed through it'll bleed through and onto here so please make sure you put in a sheet of nice heavy cardstock or something when you are doing your markers so you don't ruin the next page here we got little ladybugs <laughs> okay these are the Copic markers there's going to be a lot of pages here to look at so I'm just going to show you the bottom half because the pages oh no I have to show you the tops they got bunnies okay bunny <laughs> and then you have the it's in sections 
so you'll have all your colors for yourself when you wanted to like a red violet color then you want a perfect match to something that you're coloring and you just go in and pick your colors out from there a little crappy <laughs> reds <clears throat> red yellows and here we have I don't know what he is but he's cute yellows and greens <coughs> little it's a bug that flies these are the blues that's my favorite bird I have a coffee cup with the birds on it <laughs> these are the earth tones I haven't been down in this section of the book yet because I don't have very many markers. This one has a bunny up in the stars up here. And by all means, if you want to draw some more stuff up here with a white gel pen or gel pens in particular, you can also just use gel pen. Trace over these white lines and it'll still look adorable. <clears throat> Go for it. Draw your own sketches down here. If you have a space you want to put a little note, write a note. This is your book to play with and make your own. So have fun with it. These are the grays. Aromatic colors. Colorless blender, black and special black. Okay. Here we have some elephants. And we're into the Faber-Castell pit pens. I was told these are really nice. I have not played around with them so <clears throat> maybe I'll check them out I don't know and a buggy Spectrum Noir Illustrator set they have a, a 216 colors I guess wow little owl a little bunny <laughs> Fishies, with a little pup fish down there at the bottom. <laughs> oh, these are Tombow. Did I get into another? These were all the ear illustrators, right? Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, okay. Tombow dual brush markers. I think I have um, like the primary set. I think it only came with four colors and a um, blender. Used them when I was doing uh, journaling, bullet journaling, making my own pages, <laughs> that kind of thing. So they have a bunch up here on this. We got a lot of the little puppy fish. I call them puppy fish. <laughs> Maybe we have a cute set of frogs with their little tongue out. <laughs> and here we have lemurs and then we have our marker notes so you'll have a few pages of these and then we get into the blank color charts and you have the cute giraffes here so you can put another tab on this one the blank color charts are here for you to um, do your own colors in. So with, this is the section that has the reds, the blues, the oranges, and all that. So you can <coughs> follow her lead here. Keep some of the pencils, you know, all in its red form. So if you want to put all the reds here to pick out that perfect red for a cherry or an apple or a Christmas outfit, or you know anything that you'd color in red then you can find it so you'd put the color down the name of the pencil or the brand of the pencil and its name number if you want to I don't know how much room you have there to put it all in but you got your reds your oranges your yellows greens blues 
violets, purples, and browns. You also have grays, and then your blacks and your whites, and you can put your whites on the white paper, or the black paper, so it actually show up. How many times do you do your color swatching and you put white down and then you think, why am I doing that? Because you can't see it. This is so cool. <laughs> then we have the blank charts for any color set that you didn't have mentioned in the first section. So if you have, say, the Sergeant Art Supremes, you can put those in here. On the page, it'll list how many you have. So uh, also down here, if I didn't mention that before, very light gray, it'll tell you what page number you're on. So you can easily, in your index, if you want to put this down as, I'm going to say Sergeant Art Supremes, it comes with a 72 set. You'll find a page that has 72 little boxes on it. And then you will go down here to the number, and then you can put it in your index at the front of the book and put it down as Sergeant Art's Supreme Pencils on page blah blah blah, whatever it is down here. So we have <coughs> sets that she does. This is 54 down to 108. So you can put 108 pencils on here.